<laughs> Sometimes the neck and blade can get more detail than a motor driven clipper. I'm Fahim Alexander, Master Barber from South Philadelphia, AKA the Fade King. I'm here to walk you through 12 fades and hairstyles, from textures to tools. This is Fahim Alexander. Let's go. So the first one we got here is the dirt feed. This is a taper style cut with a comb over and a part. We taper the bottom, you know, either either a one to a two to a three, then go all the way up to the part. Even though different companies have different sizes, there's a general standard for clipper guide numbers. Generally, the clipper guard number represents the number of one eighth inches of hair left on the head. Lower number clipper guards leave less hair on the head, while higher number clipper guards leave more hair on the head. The number one guard leaves one eighth length of the hair on the head. The number two guard leaves one fourth length. The number three guard leaves three eighths length. The number four guard leaves one half inch length of the hair on the head. Did you know there's a difference between a taper and a fade? A taper starts at short hair, whereas a fade starts at skin. Here we have the skin drop feed. One of my favorites. It's real smooth and easy to do. Start off skinning it bald. You wanna go from a, a zero to a one to a two and fade it all the way up to your pump. So in this next photo we got here is a taper fade with long hair. This fade right here is one of my favorite fades from the 80s, 1.5 guard, trim off a little at the top. I think every barbershop can be a safe place for women. Check this cutout that I'm gonna do to my friend, Ariane. How's it going for How you? are you? Good. What's going on? Yeah. I love the style, I love everything that you got Thank going on Thank you. Here. I'm actually excited. You'll be the first person to cut my hair that isn't me in five years. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, being, I'm being taught all over again. <laughs> and it's quite all We're right. We're all learning. Yeah. So, what do you like? What do you want? I usually do like a two up to about here and then maybe a three going out. Okay. And then a nice, if you wanna, you wanna get that fade going back here, that's fun. That'd be perfect, yeah. I can nail that. Cool. So normally when clients come into the barbershop and they want this, this style right here, I always have a comb on handy and I'm gonna use my 357 clipper from Caliber. So my comb is my best weapon. We're just gonna trim right here, just make it easier. Then you comb it back down. You go up a little bit more, and just swipe it. I love this cut already. So tell me something, do you wear any like designs or anything back here or you just wear it natural? Well, I've done just like a couple steps here like a little, that a I couple, really like. A couple parts? Yeah. Would you like to see that again? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Okay, great. I'm gonna taper it down a little bit more so I can get a little bit onto the surface. You have all types of mazes back here. They take twists and turns, right? Yeah, but it's cool though, it's neat. You're gonna like this though. You took a beautiful haircut. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know where you're finding all these gray hairs. I'll put some in there. I thought so. This looks fantastic. It's just soft enough. It's not too hard of an edge. It's got really great flow. I can play with it. It's gonna blend really nicely when it's growing out. So Ariane, what do you think? Very happy. Love it, love it, love it. So here we got our fourth fade, one of the most common cuts that's worn today. A one and a half on the sides, cut into a box texture. Some people that sported this haircut in the 80s, Kid Play, Salt and Pepper, Cameo, Eric B and Rock Kim, and Big Daddy Kane, Public Enemy, and EPMD, and my guy from my city, Will Smith, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Your barber would tell you he will have the keys to success of keeping you in shape. You know, I like a little bit of spritz, a holding spray a blow dryer. Back in the day, you know you're in the mirror in the bathroom, you know you patting it down to make that square shape. Every other week to keep it fresh, you should buzz your sides. So at number five, we got the temple taper fade with the kinky hair. That's most common today with the brothers with the beard. You can start from your skin fade and the blend down into your beard to make it too dark so your beard is like a three. It can grow and look natural. To keep this haircut Right, right here, you might want to use your favorite sponge or your favorite curly racket. So with this style, I mean, you can shampoo it every night, to be honest with you, if you like, but you know, you need these steps. Number one, you know, you want to get your favorite shampoo and conditioner. Number two, you know, you want to put your favorite pomade in the hair. Maybe use a blow dryer to dry it. Then your favorite curly racket or your sponge. So number six, we got the high brook. I'm gonna cut my boy Jesse. He wants to sport that low fade and trim on top. Come on in, Jesse. What's up, man? Hey, bro. How you doing, man? Sean, how you doing? All right, Victor Cruz. 
would you normally go to the barbershop? Like, what do you ask for? I used to say, give me a low fade or a high brook. So basically just get a taper and I get it tapered up real high. That's a new one to me, the high brook. Yeah. I ain't hear that one yet. <laughs> Why do they call it the high brook? Does it have something to do with Brooklyn? Yeah, so, you know, a lot of cats, instead of getting a full-on fade, they just want to get the Brooklyn, which is just taper the edges a little bit. You know, I want mine tapered, but I usually want to get a higher taper, so I call it the high brook. That's just some different terminology right there. Anywhere else, they just say, give me a temple fade. That's it. So to make this high brook, I want to brush it out where I'm gonna do most of my work at. So I got my outliner tubes here, and I'm just gonna start to make a small fade. Maybe we do these all day long down in Philadelphia. They just call temple fades. That's what they call it? Yeah, but the high brook is funny. That's different to me. What I got now, it's just my 50 mat and caliber. Great for tapering, ball tapering, and trimming. Critique at the top. Then I have the new Andis Cordless Master for detail work and designs. I use this for my trimming to make my boxes and my afros. Then we got the 357 from Caliber. It's an all-around clipper that I can use all day. So Jesse, I think I did the Brooklyn, man. It's my first time doing it. I think I nailed it. You tell me. Okay. Did I, I had to trust you, man. You did passed the test, test, man. Up. I'm rocking with it. Yeah, you laced me, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, appreciate man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you coming to my shop. That'll be about $50. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of you guys know that the fade started in World War II when African-American soldiers start wearing their hair skin tight? It resembled being that good soldier. In the seventh fade, we have the temple fade style haircut with the comb back. So in these two fades, you got one up here that's actually going to the side with the part that's pretty smooth. Then on this one, you have the hair pulled to the back and taper, get that nice temple fade on the side. This cut right here has less in the nape area. So you can show your magic as a barber. You can round it, you can square it, but it's, it's fly either way that you go. Number eight, we got the mohawk with the beard. And it's popular in the barbershops all around the world. It's kind of like one of my favorites, but I want to freak it Philly style one day. I mean, if you want this popular style, it's real easy to do. Roll your hair out, buzz the sides. So in the ninth photo, we got the burst fade. My favorite burst fade is the skin burst fade. When you start low above the air, then you just move up to a one, to a one and a half, to a two, and make it pop. The burst fade can be added to any men's hairstyle, short or long. You can turn it into a frohawk. Pat the sides, keep a little bit on top. If you like the burst fade, check out the James Hart and make me look like it. I'm gonna bring my boy Austin out, and we're gonna hop right into this burst fade. How are you, man? Very good, very good. My brother. Thanks a lot. So you seem like a pretty cool guy, Austin. What type of styles you rocking these days? Something like a burst fade. Let's, like let's, let's, let's try that burst fade. Yeah. Let's yeah. make the brother look cool in a burst fade. Cool. Let's try it. I'm trying to get my beard like you, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you gotta tell me how to get like that, man. Here in this cut right here, I'm gonna go with my Andes Super Z's. Open that burst up for you. Got a date tomorrow night, brother. This is right on time. Oh, you do? Yes, indeed. Oh, <laughs> man, she's going to love you. She's going to say, Austin, who cut your hair, Austin? <laughs> what style do you normally wear it in the back? Round, square, faded? I usually do square in the back. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's do that square. This is different from the high flat top because it's messy. You think the racket is better than the sponge? Yes, the racket is better, sanitary reasons. Oh, OK. I believe the sponge holds bacteria. Yeah, you're probably right. So what you think? Man, this is real clean, man. One of the cleanest lines I've ever had. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. thanks so much. Thank you, yeah. and enjoy your outing. I will. Number 10, the feather fade. It's more common in barbershops nowadays for gentlemen and women. They just want a free flowing fade, and this one is pretty nice. This cut also is easy maintenance. So now we're gonna talk about some different hair textures. Some barbers or hairstylists may ask you what is your natural hair texture. And number one, we got more of a straight hair. Then if you wanna drop all the way down to 4C, we got a more kinky texture. Then if you wanna go between 3A and 4A, a more curly texture. As a professional barber, you're supposed to have adjustable clippers so that your clippers can move between these different textures, working with different ethnic groups to get that perfect style. So the 11th fade will be the Elvis Presley. I never did this cut before, but I really want to try it. So if anybody want it, they can come on down to my shop. So in this last but not least picture, I got the hard top fade with my friend Brandon. 
So, Brendan, what would you like this fade at, man? Uh, I like a skin fade. I'll get high. Skin high fade? Yeah, yeah. Do you know kid and play? Oh, yeah, yeah. I get that all the time. So that's the look that we're going for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's My man. Good. 90s. Yes, sir. Oh, you got a nice canvas to work on. <laughs> I desperately need it, too, man. It's been like a little over a month. Well, you come to the right place. Hey. So to achieve this style, I'm going to need my outliners to go zero on the side. So what I'm doing here, he wants a high top fade. I cut in my first guideline to make it real short on the bottom. I'm going to show you how to knock this guideline smoothed out. I got the 50 mag with a one guard on there. So right now here, I'm knocking out most of the bulk. Now I'm going in to clean my guideline up. So take some adjustable clippers. Don't zero them. Turn them all the way out as far as they go. You see a lot of high tops coming in these days? Yeah, stuff like that comes back. Yeah. Nowadays. Yeah, the high top is coming back. High top fade. You know, the low top. Cutting it down. Or even like a low fade. These yeah. fades are coming back. Nah, I've been rocking this for like four or five years now, so. I swear my mentor can do this cut in 15 minutes. Really? Yeah, that's all he do is cut fades. <laughs> All right, Brandon, you ready to see this cut? Yes, I am. Where you going, buddy? Damn, look at that line, though. Okay, wait, hold on, let me see the side. So this is a high top fade, typically wore by Kitten Play and Big Daddy King. My brother, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it for real. Yes, sir.